So there's a new British movie out which has got some people up in arms about the desecration of not one but two classics. The movie is Brighton Rock and people are saying, oh, how can you do that both to Graham Greene's novel and, of course, to the 1947 film adaptation which famously starred Richard Attenborough as the baby-faced gangster Pinky. Now, in the new film, that role is filled rather wonderfully, I think, by Sam Riley, a former winner of the Kermode Award for his standout turn in control. I haven't even started. And he plays the guy who looks young on the outside, but has an aging dark heart on the inside, wearing a natty suit, which, due to a new twist, blends in with the background because they've updated the action to take place amidst the mods and rockers clashes that played out on Brighton Beach. So, while everyone else is up in arms about what have they done to Brighton Rock, I'd like to ask, what have they done to Quadrophenia? See, it's clear to me from watching the film that the makers have sat down watched Frank Rodham's classic and lifted entire scenes wholesale from Quadrophenia. The scenes of the mods and rockers clashing on the beach, the scenes of the mods coming down the seafront on their scooters, even the presence of Phil Davis. Now, it's perhaps unsurprising that people should moan about, oh, Graham Greene is a sacred text, oh, Richard Attenborough is a high watermark which cannot be passed. But I would say that the same is true of Quadrophenia. In the past, people have tended not to take teen movies seriously. It was the case with Blackboard Jungle back in the 1950s. It was the case with Philip Kaufman's The Wanderers. So no surprise that Quadrophenia wasn't revered by critics when it came out. And yet, it is a British movie that has really lasted. Some years ago, I had the pleasure of meeting Phil Daniels. And he said that there wasn't a day goes by that somebody didn't come up to him and say, you know, at the end of the film, do you go over the cliff on the scooter? Or is it just the scooter that goes over? This despite the fact that the opening shot from Quadrophenia tells you that only the scooter goes over. So, while everyone else is debating whether or not it's okay to update Brighton Rock, and I have to say I think the new version has good points and bad points, let me say that the real film fans' focus should not be what have they done to Pinky, but what have they done to Jimmy?